and Mary and most of the children were taken to Baltimore for sale to be sold. This is the scene we just saw in the, in the short film, that, right? They were taken from the B&O Railroad Station in Washington, D.C. to Baltimore. And so Daniel is desperate trying to uh, um, intervene, to intervene uh, uh, and, and possibly stop the sale of Mary and the children uh, south. Um, and at that moment, you know, Daniel on the, on the depot platform is, is sort of uh, bludgeoned by the train conductors and he's, he stopped, he's, the, the train pulls away. And um, some abolitionists saw this and um, helped Daniel intervene. And so what happens to Mary Bell in, and Daniel is that um, eventually with help from some abolitionists, local abolitionists, Daniel Bell is able to raise $400 and he's able to purchase Mary Bell's freedom, but he only has enough money to purchase two of the children. Okay, so Daniel and Mary Bell have to decide which two children will be saved and kept and which uh, three or four children will be gone and sold. And um, they, they do that. Um, after the Civil War, some of the children are able to reunite with Mary and Daniel Bell. Um, but two, two appear not to have, we, we don't know what happens to them, and I, we don't know. But they are sold, and they are taken away uh, at age 8, 9, 10. So Mary Bell, Daniel, just like he purchased his own freedom, now essentially has to purchase Mary's freedom. So while Ann Bell wins her freedom in court and James Ash wins his freedom in court, this is what happens to Mary Bell. 